Before Windows 7, you used to need a big, specialized Surface computer like this to experience the latest touchscreen technology. But now, with Windows 7 and a touchscreen display, you can control your own computer simply by touching the screen. Hi, I'm John Swenson, a writer on the Windows team. And today I'm going to show you how to control your PC using Windows Touch in Windows 7. If you have a PC capable of working with Windows Touch, you'll discover that Touch is not only easy and efficient, it's fun. To use Windows Touch, you need either a laptop with a screen that supports multi-touch, that's the ability to sense more than one fingertip at a time touching the screen, or a desktop computer connected to a similar touchscreen monitor. If you're looking for a new computer, the easiest way to tell if it supports multi-touch is to check with the manufacturer or store selling the computer. Look for PCs that say they support Windows Touch. Let's get started. There are several basic touch gestures that let you do everything from stretching things with your fingertips to dragging items around the screen. The simplest gesture is to use your fingertip like a mouse tapping anywhere on your screen. I'll tap the Start button with my fingertip, then tap Control Panel, then grab Control Panel and move it around my screen. You can also scroll using your fingertips. Touch is a convenient way to scroll through long documents or web pages like this. If you have a really long document like this one, you can flick through it. Flicks are quick gestures that push something in any direction. You can also scroll side to side on really wide documents using two fingers. Now let's try selecting and dragging. This is like using a mouse to select and drag something, except you do it with your fingertips on the screen. Drag your fingertips left or right to select some text and then drag and drop it somewhere like this. You can also right-click using your fingertips, so you don't need a mouse to do this. Press on whatever you want to right-click and tap using a second finger. Notice how this opens the shortcut menu. Another way to right-click on something and open its shortcut menu is to press and hold. Press, wait for the blue ring to appear, and then release, like this. My favorite gesture is zooming. It's great for making things like photos bigger or smaller. You can zoom in or out on a photo like this. Notice how I can also rotate the photo with my fingers. Zooming also works great with maps. Move your two fingers apart to zoom in. Now you know the basics of using Windows Touch. But even if you have a multi-touch computer, you can still use a mouse if you don't want to use touch all the time. But once you've learned how to control your computer using touch, you might find you prefer your fingertips to all other pointing devices. You can even have fun with touch. Excuse me while I go check out the Windows Touch Pack, a free add-on for Windows Touch users. I've heard it contains some cool games and I want to take a look at them.